big bamba car in his head. Yeah, the that fuck? guy. Yeah, that guy. Um, he egoed my friend at the airport. What do you mean? Yeah, Why? So, so I, because remember, I think you t- you're the one that told me he was coming to Toronto. Yeah, he came to yeah, Toronto. Yeah, yeah. So, so my friend works at like the airport security, mm-hmm. and he they weren't letting him in, and then he he started. He said he started screaming. At, do you know me? Do you know who the fuck I am? I'm doing hella shows out here. And then he's like, he started talking in bad patois. <laughs> I was like, what's his name though? I don't even I don't know. know. I don't know. I, don't, I just know him by the meme. That's what I'm if saying. you guys know what we're talking about, it's the white guy yeah. that he does um like Jamaican reggae music. Yeah, exactly. And he has a thick accent. I'm pretty sure he's wait, he's from the UK though. Yeah, uh yeah, he is from the UK because he has a normal UK accent. But uh, yeah, I don't know if he's uh, anyways, let's stop talking about him because I don't yeah, want to yeah. boost his ego. Exactly, exactly. Anyways, I was um just recently, like literally just now, yeah, I, I have a I have a developing theory. Okay, okay. Developing <laughs> because it? of shit like I was doing personally. Mm-hmm. So I was watching some haunted tour videos because okay. I want to get some some new content for the pod, right? Yeah, yeah. And I felt really iffy about it. I felt kind of like low vibration. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? How? I don't know. It's almost you know when you when you watch something horrific or almost demonic you feel like a certain vibe to it yeah, yeah. and you yourself feel kind of low that's true that's true so i came to the conclusion right that there's high frequency music and there's low frequency music mm. like there's good vibes and bad vibes but yeah. that doesn't take away from the art yes or no mm. no it doesn't right yeah because even if it's about terrible shit even if it's like super low vibration it could still be a banger yeah, talk, like sure. knife talk by by Twenty One Savage. For yeah, example. it's talking about mad murder. Yeah, but it's still vibey, or it's yeah. still like we get we get we like it because it's it's appealing. Yeah. So I was when I was watching the thing, there was actually in the tour video they were talking about this concept, which is it kind of blew my mind. Was people when they visit haunted houses mm. or places that have spirits? Yeah. The people that get affected, they're usually the ones that are on like a low vibration. Right. So if you were just off a breakup, yeah. or if you're going through shit with your parents or stuff like that, you're just really down on yourself, mm-hmm. those are the times they say that demons will try and attack you. Okay. And you know, it will show them things yeah. that nobody else in the room would, would feel or know. So some people might experience a haunting as a group but only that person will feel it because they're on a different vibration than anyone else. Word. If they're on like a higher vibration. Yeah. So like if I listen to drill music before I go in, oh, I'm susceptible, I'm susceptible to demons. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, like, maybe I, not like that specifically. Okay, yeah. But what I'm thinking is if you if you're personally on that, yeah. if you're personally on that level, mm-hmm. I think the the music thing is a way to prep you into a frequency though. True. I think that's a way. Like people get sucked into like a feeling because yeah. you think about you listen to like X yo back in the day fam I was listening to the most depressing music ever yeah, and of and course I felt gonna, depressed of course I'm gonna feel depressed yeah and I feel like low there's music that's called that it's like um like a lot of Christians don't listen to rap music because it's called non something music but it's like it, 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 non secular yeah non it's not about God yeah it's not about yeah. God so it's like some some people do a cleanse of non secular and they they say they feel a hundred times I better I think it's true yeah I did ask think that's true because like what I was just saying mm-hmm. um you know those feelings when you're listening to a certain music yeah. and then and then you want to like clean your room and shit mm-hmm. so back this that's what I was doing I was like cleaning up I was I was kind of I heard the music I heard mind. the music you were playing still. I was refreshing my mind yeah. but the moments I played certain tracks that were almost I don't know about the wrong things mm-hmm. that shit flipped my energy and I felt I felt a difference yeah. and I did I started to get lazy I didn't care about like cleaning shit yeah. no more Facts. it's just distracting mm-hmm. and I think that's what it is yeah. also bringing it to like a different level I I see it like this now what if um that that frequency thing, just like how it affects your mood. What if it's the exact same way how people when they go on hallucinations or when they go on psychedelic trips, it's exact same. Mm-hmm. Even when people get high off weed or whatever, yeah. if if you're in a really bad vibration or state of mind, you'll have a bad trip. Yeah. But if you're in a good place, you mm-hmm. have a good trip. So what if that's just the time the veil is just uncovered? Okay. It's like that the whole time, but it's just like amplified. Yeah. You know what I'm saying so people. That's are true. literally just going through things when they have bad trips like yeah. that. I've seen uh, this uh, TikTok video where this girl went to the real conjuring house, right? Mm-hmm. And she was mad happy. 
like everybody in the comments like girl are you not scared like going into the house she's like nah she was taking pictures like she had good energy yeah and i promise you she i, I don't she think didn't she got experience haunted. anything yeah. yeah because she was on a level that they couldn't reach they couldn't yeah they couldn't, you know what i mean they wouldn't try to so there was this um satanist yeah and he came out on a podcast and he said this is an ex-satanist okay. but he was up there he was a fucking priest right Fuck, yeah what he did he used to do voodoo and spells to try and harm people. Yeah. And one time this woman came to him mm -hmm. and said, I need you to try and kill this other woman that I hate. Like, I want you to put a, a hex on her and kill her. Now, the the satanic priest, mm -hmm. what he ended up doing, he did his rituals. Mm -hmm. And the moments where he spoke to the devil, you know what the devil told him? What? Don't do it? Not this woman. Whoa. She, he said, so apparently... Like the devil telling the high priest of satanic church, telling him, not this woman. Her God is too powerful. Whoa. Whoa that's weird. Also, there's there's a lot of claims too. Uh -huh. This is these are coming from ex-satanic uh like people. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. they practice this shit. There was a a person and they went to do harm to people, I think at some some church, right? Mm -hmm. But the moments they went to them and ready to I, I don't know what they were headed to do. He kind of kept that like secret. Mm -hmm. This was probably some terrible shit. Yeah. But when he was walking towards them, he said there was a veil of fire Holy that shit. it wasn't visible to the eye, yeah. but he couldn't he couldn't walk towards them because it would literally burn his flesh. Oh my God. But they couldn't see it. It's just like more of a, yeah, like a manifest. A force yeah, like it, it's something spiritual that you can't see. Yeah, that's sick though. And I'm. I think that's real, fam. Mm -hmm. I think that's very, very real. Because yeah. you'll see these people and it's almost like they have an aura to them. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, Certain people, you know, okay, there's no harm going to be done to them. They, you can see like they're blessed and protected. Mm -hmm. But certain people, you you see they have ill intent. Yeah. And there's something dark that like they carry around. Facts. But just having the observation of that, you can start mm -hmm. to see people yeah. around you. And you don't, you know like um how... Uh, there's many videos where people just pray over another person mm -hmm. and like they hold their thing. I seen this one where like a Satanist was talking to a Christian and they were both like, uh, the Christian was being mad nice and like the uh, obviously Satanist didn't believe whatever he said. Yeah. He's like, yo, bro, let me just pray for you. And then like he tried to stick his hand out, but he was like, nah, don't touch me, don't touch me. Mm -hmm. And then it was weird because I was playing Madden, right? It was so, so random, right? But this guy, whenever I made like a, a play, he was like, man, fuck you, like, fuck you. And I, I was like, uh, in my mind, I'm like, yo, there's something wrong with this guy, right? And it was just on the mini mic. So, wait, you're playing somebody? Yeah, I'm playing someone online. online. Yeah, and he's talking to the mic, and he's like, you fucking, you, you Whoa, suck, you suck. And I'm like, yo, I'm like, I'm gonna stay on the line with you because I feel like you need help. So yeah. I'm gonna pray for you. And he's like, bro, I don't believe in God. If God wasn't, if God was real, uh, he got mad dark. I, I was like, yo, if God was real, my, my best friend wouldn't have taken his life. And I'm like, bro, I'm gonna stay on the line. You need help. And we started talking. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, there's a reason why, why, it, we matched up right now. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And then I paid for him. And then it was like, he, he left the game. That's good, like, fam. That's yeah, good. but it was yeah. red. It was so crazy because it's like, what if that guy didn't match up with me and he he committed Did something, something else that I know. night? You yeah. don't know. You don't know. The, we don't know. You don't know the butterfly effect of little little exactly. things. Yo. Exactly. Little so, things you can change someone's life. Yeah. And that's why as soon as I noticed him being like mad about everything, I'm like, yo, there's something wrong with you. You want to talk. That's, mm -hmm. all, that, that's all a person would I want. I think, honestly... For certain people, we're called to to do it when we see it. Yeah, yeah. You know, for the people that aren't, I guess, aware to it, mm -hmm. maybe you're not in the right mindset yourself to help. Yeah. But if you can recognize and see it, yo, help them ASAP. Because yeah, exactly. I think that's like, that's that's Jesus is telling to you, like, yo, you should, you better help them. You see <laughs> them in pain. Facts. You understand their pain, so you better help them. Because it's almost like if you don't understand them, then it's something different. Yeah. yeah. But when you do understand them. <laughs> And you just leave them, uh -huh. that's fucked. Yeah, that's more fucked because you know there's intention behind it. Mm. And because it, it could have been easy for me to be like, ha, fuck you, touchdown. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> like, I could have made his life 10 times worse. Yeah, but that's like, true. Nah, I didn't want to do it because I knew there was going to be bad karma. You know what I mean? Yeah, because sometimes we have fun at the expense of others mm -hmm. and we don't, we don't like bag it like yeah, that, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yo, I was watching Avatar, okay. the, the, the new. The new live action. Yeah, how was it? How was it? I didn't see it yet. It's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. You like the anime though. The anime, yeah. I would never watch no it. No matter what, when they do a live action of an anime, they're not going to get it right. Mm -hmm. that, right. I'm just going to say let that boom. Mm -hmm. It's going to be something different. What I, what I wish they did 
I wish they just did like a whole new avatar. That would be sick. They they should have just brought back a like Avatar Yoshi or whoever, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like it's such a OG thing that maybe people might have hated on it. That's why they didn't want to take the risk. They're like, let's just make a live action OG. Of the OG. Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah. cause everybody knows they're gonna Likes watch it already, it. yeah. I know. <laughs> but what I'm thinking is like if they did the the revamped, or not revamped, but another story, and then they did the OG, it would be better. Maybe. We don't know. Because you're comparing it. I feel like when you put something out uh-huh. that's already been made, you compare it, right? Yeah. But that's like the name of the game right now. You have to compare it to something. But that's whack. <laughs> that's whack. Because look, t- taking like every single new piece of media is low-key just, just revamps of the old. Mm-hmm. Where's the new shit? No, but I, I think it just... Yeah, I think it's social media. My fault. We're getting off topic. But we it's social media that makes us compare... You know what I mean? Oh, we have to compare our life to another person. You know what I mean? And before we move on, like... Wait, what? Say again? No, because social media makes us compare everything. So it's like, oh, uh, when when an album when a rapper drops their album, they're comparing sales. Yeah, yeah, no. But what I'm saying is, like, why did they... Why are they taking the old stuff instead of just making new? Like, I feel like they should just make new, no? No, because of what this generation is so... Like, this generation criticizes everything. You know what I mean? So they don't want to take that risk. Everyone's scared of taking that risk. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. But yeah. So I I found a theory though. Okay. What was it? It's about Avatar. Yeah. This is sick because my friend, he told me about these things that were going on in China, mm-hmm. specifically in Tibet, actually. And he told me this prior to me watching Avatar. Okay. But when I watched Avatar, I realized, holy shit, the whole Avatar Last Airbender might just be about real life. It might be it might be trying to tell a story that they're not allowed to really talk about about things happening in Tibet. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if you know about this, but you know the CCP, like the China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the Chinese government. Mm-hmm. You know that they're trying to promote a no religion country, right? You know yeah, about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. And that's their that's their whole imagery they're trying to push out. But why is that a problem in China? Because majority is what Buddhist. Oh. And and in uh, some of the regions which they're trying to take over, Tibet specifically, yeah. that's where the home of these Buddhists were. Yeah. And specifically who? The Dalai Lama. Oh. Now, can't tell me what there's the? not resemblances and similarities with the Avatar and the Dalai Lama and Buddhism. Back this. Oh, l- let me hear it. So check this out. Yeah. yeah. So um, China... They're destroying temples, invading, trying to take out and erase Buddhism, right? Yeah, yeah. Trying to erase the Dalai Lama, right? In Avatar, what happened? The Fire Nation motherfucking attacked. And what were they trying to do? They erased all of the airbenders. What do the airbenders look like? Monks. (laughs) No. You know what I'm saying? And the Dalai Lama is someone that can reincarnate and the... The name and title yeah. is transferred to different people over centuries and years. Mm-hmm. The avatar is the exact same thing. The, there's a new avatar when you kill it off. Yeah. Another one reincarnates. Oh, no. Yo, isn't it, isn't it so similar that Aang looks like the Dalai Lama in the same orange robes? <sighs> yeah. Feel me? They're trying to say something. I think they're trying to bring awareness and attention to it through the cartoon. Yeah. This is going to like political and governmental and i'm saying mm-hmm. but like it's crazy because i wouldn't have known that unless my friend told me about the the whole thing going on in tibet like yeah that. and it's better that that people don't know that because it's subconscious like if you're just seeing it on the screen you're not really knowing what's happening mm-hmm. but you know what i mean it's really happening in tibet like we, i didn't know that yeah yeah there's also another theory how um it's supposed to resemble world war ii whoa so obviously you know like Germany invaded yeah. and tried to take take over the world, mm-hmm. but what what adds up to this theory is the Legend of Korra okay. is actually supposed to be about like the Cold War because it's the same it's the same era of kind of weaponry. Word. I don't know if you know about Legend of Korra though. No, no, no. Yeah, so that's like the newer one where this is couple. Let's say yeah, like I remember that. Yeah, it's like a spinoff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a spinoff, pretty okay. much. But if you look at the tech and how it lines up, I think that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to show, okay, the OG Avatar was World War II. Yeah. Let's have the new one kind of like Cold War. And you can see it. Yeah. It's interesting stuff. Fuck, man. Yeah, they they always leave some shit like that in uh, movies too. Because I don't know if you you bagged the one in SpongeBob. The the real life movie. 
Like the, they yeah. made the movie the like the, the big SpongeBob on the that was the cover. Of yeah, him yeah, yeah. On surf, surfboard, but they made. Uh, Sandy, they depicted Sandy as a crazy conspiracy theorist. Do you remember no, that scene? No, I don't, I don't know about that. Really? What the hell? Because everyone, I guess it's been swept under the rug. But she's like this and like, she's like going crazy. Like trying to represent like, oh yeah, you guys are Word? the ones going this is the This is the new, in new the, one. Yeah, in the movie. Yeah. Oh, shit. So she's in a room with a bunch of pictures, right? Yeah. And she's wearing like on her necklace, the all-seeing mm-hmm. eye. Fem, what the Sandy, fuck? Sandy. Yeah. And everybody's saying like it relates to Sandy because Sandy uh likes nuts, right? And she's going nuts. And she's a nut. Yeah, yeah she's a that nut. Makes sense. You know what I mean? And on the on the wall, there's pictures of um Egypt and all the pyramids. Mm. There's pictures of butterflies. What does that represent? Mind control. Wait, why butterfly? The mind control and the thing. Uh what what is it called? MK Ultra? MK Ultra. Random pictures of 33 degree angles. What the fuck? On SpongeBob. That's weird. The 33 degree angle made me realize like they're trying to show something to the kids. Can that, I see? Can yeah, I yeah. see? Bet, bet, bet. This is on some like Gravity Falls type yes. beat then. Yes, bro. Look, look at Sandy. All there's like lines going to papers. Oh, you shit. You know what I mean? Hold on. I'll show you another one. 33 de- degree angles. Damn, mm. I'm like, okay, what are you trying they're to They're trying think? to show something. Look. Beside the 33 degree angle is a ladder. Usually in, in Masonic <laughs> leaders, they, they climb up the rankings. You know, do you know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah, what you're yeah. talking about. And then, and then this is crazy because there's a dolphin character in the movie because it's SpongeBob. Yeah. He's wearing a similar robe to what the Mason leader wears. Let me see. Look. Hold on. Do you not see that? Man? Oh, what the fuck? Do you not this see This is that? in a new film? Yes, bro. Look. That's the all seeing eye. That's Illuminati. Yeah, that's, that's Illuminati yeah. shit. And look what he's standing beside. Jupiter. Ju- I don't know if you know this, but Jupiter is one of the most important Mason uh, planets. It's like, oh shit. Yeah. They do rituals to it. Yeah, fuck. yeah. It's fucked. I heard I heard a theory for SpongeBob about Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Because <laughs> if you think about it, look, look. Why the fuck is Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy in the sea? Tell me, tell me. Yeah. They're all sea creatures, right? They're humans, though. They're, if, okay, if they're humans, why are they small? Back that, right? <laughs> the, the fish are small. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. But why are Mermaid Man and Barco Boy small? I have an answer. What? Yo, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Remember the theory about how Bikini Atoll is the nuclear testing ground oh. and the nuclear explosions, right? Yeah. So theory goes that the same radiation that made all the fish mutated and they can speak English caused SpongeBob and Patrick and everyone to be kind of like alive. Yeah. That's the same radiation that affected Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. But you're wondering, okay, wait, how are they small and uh-huh. why are they like heroes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what they are? Why? Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are actually toy action figures that fell into the sea. And the radiation mutated them and brought them to life. Oh, that's fucked. Yeah. And you know Rayman? Rayman is also one of those action figures. Wait, Rayman the... No, no, no. about a different game? No, no, in Spongebob. Oh, in Spongebob. The, you, know, you know the one with that face like oh, a hand? Oh, you know what okay, I'm talking okay, about? Okay, okay, yeah. So all of those things and all of the quote-unquote tech, it became real because of the radiation and caused all of the shit to come to, to, to come, life. Okay, so, okay, mm. I get it, I get it. That's, that's where it comes because you think about like where the fuck did they come from, yeah, right? Yeah, that's true. I didn't... I didn't and they're one. small? And yeah. they're small? <laughs> there, there's another theory about... Uh, Mr. Krabs. Uh huh. So, this one's interesting because it kind of overlaps with other theories about the Krusty Krab. Mm-hmm. How the Krusty Krab it has some ingredient in the Krabby Patty. Yeah. That's why Mr. Krabs is like scared of the police and shit. Okay. So, the theory goes: the reason Mr. Krabs is so fucking rich isn't because what we think. Mr. Krabs. Yo, bag this. What, what do you do? You know how much money this guy has? If there's only one Krusty Krab, yeah. there's only one restaurant, how does he have that much money? He runs everything Bikini Bottom? Let me find out. Theory goes that Mr. Krabs is actually a drug lord. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> bag this. No, no, check it out. Check it out. El Chapo. So, yeah, he's El Chapo. Check this out. The theory goes that he even puts it in the Krabby Patties. That's what makes it so addicting. That's why Squidward was so fucking addicted Mm, to it. That's how he moves the drugs. Also, the old fry cook. Remember there's an episode where SpongeBob meets the old fry cook, Jim? So Jim comes back. But Jim, he's rich as fuck. 
<laughs> rich as fuck. SpongeBob and, and, and Squidward, they're not rich from working at the Krusty Krab. That's How true. did Jim get rich? Theory goes, Jim knows. Was his partner. Yeah, Jim knows exactly what was going on with the Krusty Krab. Mm. So Mr. Krabs paid him the hush money. Oh, you know what I mean? that's tough. He paid him the hush money. So Jim is rich now. And he won't he won't spill the beans on yeah. what's really going on with the Krusty Krab. That's why every time you see the motherfucking the police come in the vicinity of Krusty Krab, like or hide. yeah, Mr. Krabs is nervous, yo. Okay. That's why when they killed the health inspector, yeah, Mr. Krabs was nervous because oh. that's gonna lead to an investigation. Yeah, yo, Mr. Krabs doesn't really care about the the quality of the food. That's true. He doesn't care about that shit. He really cares about. Where his money's coming from. And to add on to it, since uh, we know that Mr. Krabs does coke, he's getting high off his what? Own supply. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> he's just a leader, so he can do whatever the fuck he wants. You don't know. You don't yeah, know. That's and why. that's why they're saying um, Plankton, he's he's really, really jealous. Also, they, they people are saying like the secret formula or yeah. the secret ingredient is uh, anchovies. Anchovies? Why? So you know the first episode of Spongebob? You ever watch that one? First, first one? I don't, like, if you remind yeah, me of Yeah, this it. is the very, very first episode of Spongebob. Yeah. But what happens is Spongebob comes into the Krusty Krab and he sees the help wanted sign. Okay. Right? Mr. Krabs and Squidward are like, oh, you want to work here, blah, blah? I don't know. I don't know if you're cut out for the job. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, a bus comes in and it's filled with anchovies. Like the those little fish. Yeah. And they flood the fucking place, right? But they don't go there because they're necessarily trying to eat because yeah. they didn't order any food they just start causing a ruckus and trying to kill mr krabs and squidward remember mm. it was like a flood and they're that. throwing yeah. them up yeah yeah bro they're not trying to order food so the theory goes they're like stop taking our people they're angry and they were a mob of people trying to stop the crusty crab from taking anchovies and killing them yeah. and using it in the burgers. Oh so it all led up to SpongeBob coming back. Yeah. And then he decides to cook Krabby Patties for them. But if you bag it, since it's SpongeBob's first day, he doesn't know how to make it right? He doesn't know how to use the secret mm. formula. So he was feeding all of the anchovies a different recipe. Okay. So that's why they so liked that's it. they were happy. They're like, oh, yeah. I guess it's not us. <laughs> Holy. Yo, it's actually, yo, Bikini Bob, Bottom is GTA 6. <laughs> GTA 6, bro. GTA. Oh, uh, since we're talking about movies, uh, the big movie that we all watched on Christmas during school, uh, Polar Express. Yeah. Do you know the theory about this? The one the one where, like, he's, um, it's, it's like he's the old guy, too. Yeah, like, that how one? they're all the same people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, I didn't re really bag this, but uh, Tom Hanks plays all three of the characters, so it makes sense because it's like if they are all the same person, why would they they make the voice actor play all three? Oh, he did he play the kids? Yeah, know? he played the kid too. Oh, what the so fuck? that's why that's why it's called Polar Express because uh, the polar opposite lives that he could have took. So oh. imagine that kid that kid didn't meet Santa and his, and complete his mission, he would have became the old uh, homeless man that doesn't believe in Santa, just telling kids that. Oh, that shit is not real. Yeah. And if you really bag it, the old man at the end, he disappeared because that future is no longer, no can, longer. It can there. no longer be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and then, bag and that. then the new one would be him as the police officer. Yeah. Or not the, the officer, train, the, the train, train conductor. Yeah, yeah. Because he's the one like conducting shit and exactly. making it happen. Yeah, yeah. That was mod. That's why I don't know if you know the, the Pokemon movie, like the Celebi one. The Celebi. Which Do one? You know about that one? Well, what happened? So with there's it, a though? there's a Pokemon movie. It's sim. It's a similar concept. Mm -hmm. But what happened was, um, Ash goes back in time because of this legendary Pokemon Celebi, right? Yeah. And he helps this kid, um, I guess like rekindle with Celebi and you know save the day yeah. pretty much. But what was interesting was the kid that he saved was a young Professor Oak. Oh, so if he didn't go and thing, so check this out. Mm -hmm. Ash received a Pikachu, right? In the yeah. first episode of Pokemon. Uh -huh. And him receiving the Pikachu, it was a mistake kind of thing. Like, he was supposed to get Charmander, Bulbasaur, or Squirtle, remember? Yeah, yeah. But he came late. And he got And Pikachu. the only thing that he had left was the Pikachu. He was like, oh, I guess I have to give you this one. <laughs> yeah. So he gave him the Pikachu. So if you think about it, to make sure the timeline doesn't fuck up, mm -hmm. Professor Oak has to give him that Pokemon. Yeah. Because when he was a kid, he was saved by him with a Pikachu. Oh, wow. It's like, fuck, I can fuck up the timeline. Yeah. 
I gotta make sure like he gets a That's Pikachu. Why. Yeah, bro. Imagine you give Ash a, a, a Charmander. Oh yeah, and he ends up with a Charizard. And then, and then the whole been... the whole thing fucks up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, that's why the, that's why people believe in in myths though, because I've seen this crazy thing in um Paris. Yeah. So it's called the luckiest statue in the world. Nah, I never and, heard of it. And it's this guy um named uh, he died and they made a statue of him. His name is Victor Noir. Because I think he was um a reporter. But he was like a face of a revolution when it all happened. Because yeah. like an emperor like shot him or something, right? So the whole superstition is uh, they built a bronze statue of him laying on the ground because of how he got shot. Mm -hmm. And woman would go up to this uh, uh, statue and start rubbing his crotch. What the fuck? For what? Because that means it'll make them more fertile. Like if you rub his crotch, oh, that's the that's the like belief. Yeah, so like if you rub his crotch in the timeline, you'll end up with a baby. You oh, know what I mean? Shit. The, and he would, fam. There's literally pictures of the girl. It was so weird, like crotch on crotch. Like Ew. she would start riding the statue. I theory though. Yeah. <laughs> do they get pregnant with him with his kids? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> that's not. I don't think so, fam. That'd be weird as fuck. <laughs> That would be like they check the DNA test. It's not even it's the dad. <laughs> <laughs> like whose DNA is this shit? Nah, ghost, ghost penetration is crazy. <laughs> like they're just getting pounded by a ghost. Nah, that's mine. <laughs> no, no, but yeah, they've they've gone on and like it's funny too because it's like his nose yeah. and his crotch area are the only one that's really like lighter than all the oh, rest. Oh, because the bronze on it, right? It's like rubbed out. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. And then if you kiss, if you kiss the statue while you're single, th this whole superstition is you'll end up finding a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Uh, no, not. I don't think guys are kissing the statue still, but the girls will find a boyfriend. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, who is this guy though? What did he do? I don't know. All I all I know from him is that he was like the face like of some revolution. That's where is this again? This Paris. 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 Yeah. Yeah, Paris. Yeah. There's something about Paris and love, though. There's always like love stories. Yeah, something in Paris. like that. Yeah. But I think it's mostly just because they've been through so much shit. Mm -hmm. If you bag it, like Paris is always in a revolution. Exactly. They're always and, like rebellious. Right? Yeah. Uh, like I think it was last year where they were just running out and uh, with clown masks. That's mm -hmm. that's what was going on. Theory though, and I don't want to offend nobody that's French. Yeah. But theory, you remember that theory I had about like certain languages you speak. It uh -huh. kind of gives you the tone and frequency. Oh yeah, French is to all to feel. If you because we studied French, we learned French in Canada, mm -hmm. but saying it and kind of like using the French language, it makes me feel kind of like, kind of mean. I don't know. Yeah. It's like, like I don't want to offend nobody, but you get me. Yeah. Like it, it, you say it in a certain inflection. Yeah. Just right. Say so, so. Yeah. You know what I'm talking oh, yeah, about? Yeah, it's, it's like that. It's like that. Like instead of hello, it's. Yeah. Bonjour. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I exactly you know what I'm saying? What it's not, I'm not trying to like disrespect. Yeah. But I'm, I'm what I'm literally saying is like the inflection with it. Mm -hmm. Like it hits, it hits a person's ears differently. Yeah. Like, like whenever a French person has talked to me, like I feel like, oh yeah, they've, they've talked to me like I'm a little boy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, it feels like, it feels like they talk to you in, in a power position. Yeah. In power, power. Yeah. That's perfect. It, so, so when you speak in French and it, as as should be, because mm -hmm. you you know something that I don't. So you speak to me in a, in like, oh man, I don't I I don't even know what to say to you. Yeah, thing, yeah right? exactly. That's true. So it's a power thing. Still, it's a Facts. power thing. Facts. Um, Napoleon, as we know, he's like the, I think he was like a conqueror, right? Mm -hmm. Um, when he, when he actually like colonized the world, when he was trying to take over the world, he was one of the first people that were trying to you know, conquer everything. Mm -hmm. Now, what he did, he actually made everyone drive on the left side in Europe. You know that? So that's where it started? That's where it started. Why though? I think it's because... Uh, they want to be different? No, I think it's because like, he hated the, the English so much. Word. Yeah, I think it's like he hated the English so much that he made them switch mm. and it's like it's like a fuck you guys to think That's crazy. also i think it has something to do with um with how they would they would pass uh you know how they have like certain carriages and and animals okay okay they would be on like that side of the street yeah. so you would have to go around. oh that makes sense because they're usually on the right they're usually on the right yeah so they would they would switch sides and and instead of like making the road kind of busier it mm. wouldn't make it clear yeah that's from what i heard though that's true something like that yeah but i think um 
I think like if you really if you really take in all of these uh colonizers or not even colonizers, just these people who like power stuff. Mm-hmm. Do you think they all just had like a god complex? A god complex, yeah, probably because there wasn't a lot of them. Mm. You know, you get what I'm saying. I think there was a lot of them. No? Nah. No, but like if you if you're in like a robe, like they dressed way differently from us. Like you know, like the the people in power position now, they're dressing like okay, us. Okay, question: Do you think there's more now though? Yeah, there has to be more. Yeah, now. there has to be way more, because we're just giving it out. <laughs> yeah, low key, right? Yeah, and you don't have to be. It doesn't have to be right in front of you to to experience the things. Like exactly. you can experience it in a different way. Yeah, but do you think if you only see it through a sense of um behind the screen it doesn't affect you in the same energy mm-hmm. as if like you're in the coliseum and you rise and all of these people go who you know because I, the only example i could take right now that we're doing that for is for the pope because when he comes uh with his car and stuff everyone and they're trying to kiss the pope have you seen that one where it's like uh they, they try and uh kiss the ring kiss the hand and then the pope always goes like this oh really like like he can't kiss it do you, do you not see that no, I actually. But like don't they know. try to kiss him, like kiss his hand, and then he always pulls away. Last minute. Is that a thing? I actually yeah, don't yeah, know about I, that. I don't know. It's like he's royalty or something, or you can't you can't kiss him. That's a thing they do in thing though. They do that in the Philippines. Yeah. With the bless. Oh yeah, bless. That's but just, like, like he'll actually bless you. You know what I mean? But other people they they, they try to kiss his hand. And then it's so funny because everything. I think that's one, where it originated from, no? What? The bless? bless? Yeah, it's it's the ring. Oh, I don't know. I think that's what it, what originated is like the kiss the ring thing. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. So like the the respect thing. Mm-hmm. If you bag it, all of those, all of the traditions, it probably came from the Spanish that colonized, the old, and yeah, they were royalty. Feel me? Yeah. So they're not playing games. They're like, yo, that's you have to. True. Yeah, that's true. right. That's where it came from. It had to, you know? Yeah, because I go lie. If I, once I get blessings from my little cousins, I feel like the shit. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, damn. Yeah. So yeah. I think I think that all came from. Um, just royalty stuff, like kissing the ring and, and, and shit like that. Yeah. But I wouldn't want that. Would you want your kids to do it? I guess what? to keep tradition. Yeah, I guess. Might might as well. See, like there's there's some there's some Filipinos right now in the Philippines that are like yeah. heated that we're not we're not gonna make our yeah. kids do that. But I guess cause it's out here is different, right? Yeah. I don't know why, but it's like I never call my like my kuyas. You don't call them kuyas? Yeah, we don't call them kuyas. I, I try to keep up with that. Really? No, yeah. because uh, one of my younger called me kuya, and I'm like, bro, that's weird. Don't, don't really? call Really? I don't yeah, think it's weird. Because it's, you know, just call me by my name because we know each other so much. I, I think that's only Filipino Canadians. You know what I mean? If like we're thinking, because it's like, ah. I don't think that's weird. I don't know. I think it's weirder. I think it's weirder to do the, the bless. Yeah. No, I'll do the bless. But I think it's chill if, if, if we're all Filipino. That's fine. Yeah, I don't mind calling Kuya, but it was kind of weird because it's like you usually call me by my name. You know what, though? <laughs> Fuck it. Why don't we make our white friends go ahead and make them bless their parents? Why not? You get me? <laughs> no, that, but that's not part of their tradition. And what? What are they going to do? You tell them this the rules of the house. So the they got to do this shit now. It's going to be like... <laughs> She's not gonna no, get that shit. No, but if you bag it, like they don't, they don't have a choice. You step into the crib, yeah. You have to go by the crib's rules, no? <laughs> yeah, I guess. It's like it's like playing pong, like the house rules. Uh huh. There's certain things that you have to follow, and I think, bro, if we stop, because we have to draw a line somewhere, right? Uh-huh. If we just continue to assimilate to, okay, we got to do it to appeal the whole society, the old generation, yeah, or the the new, the new, sorry, yeah. Then everything's gonna get lost. Mm-hmm. So where's the line? Where's the line of we can't we we can't like lose stuff? Mm. Where's the line of we have to continue these things? Yeah. Because if it's little by little, you know, little by little over a year, that's true. It's probably gone already. Yeah. I mean, little by little over five years, shit. We I don't I don't remember. Oh, man, yeah. So right? as the new generation, we have to kind of keep it up. You know those times where you're at home and you feel so tired, you just don't want to cook food, but you're really, really hungry and you need something right that moment. What do you guys do? Well, I have the solution. And my favorite solution is our sponsor, DoorDash. With DoorDash, I'm able to order food online and get it delivered straight to my doorstep. I don't have to worry about any dirty dishes. I don't have to worry about getting the food going outside. All I have to do is open the app, make my order, 
and I can start eating. If you guys are looking for more from delivery, you guys can get it with Dash Pass by DoorDash. Are you looking to save on delivery? Dash Pass is your door to $0 delivery fees and more on DoorDash. Dash Pass is the most affordable way to get anything in your area delivered right to your door, helping you save money and time with every DoorDash order. With $0 delivery fees and lower service fees on eligible orders, Dash Pass makes it easy to save on restaurants, groceries, retail items, and all your local favorites that deliver on DoorDash. Dash Pass pays for itself in two orders on average, making every delivery even more worth it. Plus, Dash Pass gives you special access to exclusive promotions and member-only menu items, all for only $9.99 a month. Get more from delivery for less. Sign up for Dash Pass today only on DoorDash. Use code JUMPERS24, J-U-M-P-E-R-S-24, and get 50% off up to a $10 value when you guys spend $12 or more after signing up for Dash Pass. Subject to change, terms may apply. Open the door to $0 delivery fees and more. Sign up for Dash Pass today only on DoorDash. That's 50% off up to $10 value when you guys spend $12 or more after signing up for Dash Pass with code JUMPERS24, J-U-M-P-E-R-S-24. Subject to change, terms may apply. DraftKings Casino is bringing you only the best classics like Blackjack, Roulette, and Slots, plus exclusive games you won't find anywhere else. One of my favorite casino games on the DraftKings Casino is Roulette. It's a super easy game. I usually just go for the black or red and you have a fun time gambling. Download the DraftKings Casino app now and use code JUMPPOD, J-U-M-P-P-O-D. New players get an instant deposit match up to $100 in casino credits when you deposit $5 or more. That's code JUMPPOD, J-U-M-P-P-O-D, only on DraftKings Casino. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly, 21 plus. Physically present in Connecticut, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, West Virginia only. Void in Ontario. Eligibility and other restrictions may apply. Must opt in and make minimum $5 deposit within seven days. 168 hours of registering new account. Match $100 in casino credits, which require one-time playthrough within seven days. 168 hours. See terms at casino.draftkings.com. See terms at casino.draftkings.com slash new player. Offer 2024. Okay, I had this theory though. Like, I feel like uh, that during uh like millennials and up yeah oh no no, millennials and down they always had a third place so they had uh work yeah home and then they had like a bar or like a place that they would go to to like uh to chill leisure chill and and have leisure right so i have this like i have like this developing theory that uh gen z is more depressed than all of the other uh, generations because our third place is social media so oh. so we have work we go home and once we're home we hop on the phone hop right into the so the it's virtual. like so it's like uh we can't even talk to one another except it's not eye contact it's through this you know mm. what i mean you get what i'm saying what do, what do you think about that i think i think it's true because it's almost you know a ready player one yeah it's literally like that now mm. where sure we're not in the realm of Everything's virtual, but we're technically tapped in. Yeah. Like, we're connected onto it. Mm-hmm. If our tension's here, we're there. That's what I'm saying. Because uh, on all the K-dramas I watch, when everybody's done work, they go to a, they, a bar yeah, or a cafe they, and they chat they it shit. up. Yeah, they Bam, Like, we, we only have that when we call everyone up. Yo, you want to have a day? But we should be doing that uh, thing to... But that's only in North America. That's what's weird. No, what do you... Oh, no. Yeah, that's, that's in North true. America. Fam, Asia, they don't do that. Asian, okay, they was, do that. Yo, I was Asian, out. they do that. They don't do it like us, though. Are you crazy? Okay, yeah, they don't, they do, don't it like do it like us. They don't do it like us. Like us is fucked. Yeah. We, we'll be out and on our phones. That's fucked. That's crazy, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> we don't, they don't really do that out there. Uh-huh. So I think there's something going on in the water. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> but there's something going on in North America, you know, uh-huh. that it makes us do it because we feel like we're missing out. Mm-hmm. But in reality, the real missing out is where? Right here, yeah. you're missing out because you're not looking above your phone. Mm-hmm. That's what we have to change because we feel like we're missing everything here. <laughs> yeah. And then they post about it and then you don't hear about shit if it's not there. Yeah. So I guess for the new gen, it's important to just like 
take in, okay, what's more important to me as a long term, mm -hmm. right? Like, sure, you have fun times online, but yeah. the memories that you make here, yo, what's so fucking sad? You know that thing where people say uh, your life flashes before your eyes? Yeah. Before you die? Mm -hmm. There's someone that said, imagine if someone that was an iPad kid, Didn't their, li their life flashed before their eyes, and all they saw was... Oh, that's mod. That's mod. <laughs> oh my. Their, their whole life flashing forward because the most time they spent was where? Yeah. Was watching, was like experiencing, consuming, 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 consuming. Yeah. Where was the other memories, bro? It's probably just like a little, yeah. a little flash. Oh, no. Nah, that makes me so sad, fam. Yo, but it's, it's fuck <laughs> like that because it is that right now. <laughs> like imagine you're, you're getting in the car crash and like your life flashes and all you see thing. Bro, I'm swerving that car. <laughs> no, I'm not going out right now. <laughs> so back this. Oh, this gets crazy though. Yeah, this yeah. gets crazy. So on some simulation shit, right? Okay. What if your simulation, you're in a simulation right now, mm -hmm. and what you're experiencing is what? You're experiencing the playback before you died. The playback. So everything you're living right now is the playback before you died, fam. Oh, so fuck. you already experienced death. Yeah. You're just going back and rewatching. Yeah, just like we're just viewing each other. Well, that's weird. That's fuck. That's mind blowing, no? <laughs> That's crazy. That's fine. I think, I think, um, I think they're, they're going to start making like, this just came out actually. Mm -hmm. There's devices there. They can record your dream now. Word. Yeah. Like what, what, like most, like in motion picture, like. So it's not clear yet. It's not yeah. clear yet, but they can, they can take what you saw, like exactly mm -hmm. how you saw it in your head That's and they can put it on a screen. That's, That's so weird. Uh, it's weird too. Cause it's like the dreams I've been having. Cause I've been telling my friends that whenever I have a dream about someone, I would end up linking them the same day. Word. So I had a dream about um uh, how uh, Hayden and Jaden, and in the dream we got like we got into a fight. Yeah. And like on the day of, we we went to a basketball run and we got into a fight. Really? With like a bunch of people. Oh and I was shit! Like, Yo, it's weird how that that shit uh kind of works out. And I, I found out this new superstition. Someone told me this. Yeah. But it's like you know those days when um you either take a shit. And I mean, you take a shit and you either have hella wipes or yeah. no wipes. This is ghost shit. I told you about this, no? No, 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 no. So the whole superstition that the guy told me was if you have hella wipes, someone is thinking about you. Oh, that's what it is? Yeah. And if you have no wipes, then no one's thinking about you. Wait, if you have no wipes, then no yeah, one's thinking about you. Thinking about you. But if you have hella like I heard a different theory. Wait, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> the theory goes. What is it? What is it? <laughs> Yo, so you know how um, in North America, we're here, right? Yeah. So... The opposite of us is where? Is like Australia, probably? Yeah, like the down. <laughs> so theory goes that if you have a ghost shit, like a wipe yeah. that has no poo on the on the tissue, yeah. someone in Australia <laughs> has twice the amount on their oh, tissue. Yeah. <laughs> but if you have like twice the amount on yours, uh. someone in Australia <laughs> got a ghost shit. So they didn't have nothing on their tissue, bro. <laughs> Australia, and that makes sense because it is opposite. It's the opposite. Yeah, yeah, it's like the other realm. Okay, okay. Thing. But I, my thing is just like, yo, if he's thinking about you, then you'll either have. If you're thinking about someone, you'll have no shit, and then if you if someone is thinking about you, you'll have hella shit. Damn, yo, there was something I heard like uh -huh. recently about um about like thinking about someone in mm -hmm. dream. Oh no, this is what it was. Yeah. So we heard of the the red string theory, right? Yeah, you, that's you, the one you told me about this. Mm -hmm. But there's another theory. Okay. And it's the a different, string? it's yeah, it's a different string theory. Okay. But they say um, the string or the the thing that pulls you together, it doesn't happen until you're supposed to. Like, it's supposed to keep you apart. So okay. bag this. So it's the reverse of it's the... It's the reverse. Okay, what is it? I, what is I forgot it? what they call it, though. I think it's still something string. Mm -hmm. But in the red string, it's like you're put into pass for, for you to come together. Okay. But the other string is... You guys were actually in the same area, mm. in the same coincidences. You guys just never seen each other. Okay, okay. So, fate, God, Jesus is is like keeping you apart because if you guys were to meet right now, it okay. would not work out. Mm. But there's a moment that you're supposed to meet, and then that's when it will make you click. Yo, yeah. This is this is like your time. Yeah. No, I be I believe in that. That the red string theory is one of the most things I believe because it's, yeah, it is. If you if something hops in your timeline, shit, I might have not met you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Shit like that. It's so interesting because I really do want to meet someone <clears throat> where I was there. I just never acknowledged them type of thing. You know those? Mm. 
like I wanna I wanna bag it like where holy fuck you were there for that 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 I didn't even like know you were in the room. But but if someone okay say someone does fuck up the timeline. Would that not be a mistake though? Because they're hopping in your timeline, so there's like a contradiction. No, no, no. It's not a timeline thing. It's just um, it's a timing thing. Timing thing. Yeah, no. But what if someone hops in that t- timing thing and it's like, wouldn't that be a mistake, but the right thing because it would push you towards? So it's like, what is it? No, the, the it's the same. It goes hand in hand with the red string. Okay. Because if you think about it, you're you're going closer with the red string. You're going closer mm. to somebody. Yeah. With the other one. It's um keeping you apart, even though you're there. True, true. Even though you're there. Okay. But you don't acknowledge them until you're meant to. Yeah. Okay. So maybe that string turns into a red string when it's time. When it's time. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's fire. That might be it. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I think that's probably how love really, really happens. Cause I I want to believe every single time someone falls falls in love deeply, mm-hmm. it's um it's. All the stars align. I yeah. mean, like the the timing's right and shit, and it's almost like a magical thing. Mm-hmm. But you, but do you think it's only in movies like that, or people do fall in love magically? Nah, people fall in love magically. Like I feel like if if it's done in real life, they would make it into a movie. That's why in the movies they just exaggerate it. But like, yeah, people fall in love magically because it's like, bro, I know uh, LeBron James and his wife from high school. Mm. You can't say yo. That's magic. Okay, no? I have a thing for you then. Okay. Let's say you were put in position that made it feel magical. And this girl was put in front of you. Let, let's say you're single, my yeah, bad. Yeah, you're yeah. single. Okay. But because of the situation being almost magical, are you more enticed to fall in love with her? I think mm. you are, no? I think you are, fam. Personally, personally, I would think so. Like everything's perfect? No, yeah, but like. I, I don't think so because in my mind, mm-hmm. do I know what's being set up? No, I don't, right? I don't, think you, just, I don't just, think you do. It just yeah. happens. It just so happens. I, I don't think it would because it's like, no, nah, that's, you can't force it onto someone. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, I'm saying like they, they pop into your life like this. Yeah. And it feels almost like, yo, this can't be real. Oh. No, Loki, I know a lot of those stories that, that but it's they like were perfect. They were, but they were uh, manipulated. Yeah. Oh, that's fucked. Yeah. That's and like, fucked. like at the end of the day, like it feels so real and too good to ah, be true. That's like we, we don't have we don't have a uh, what do you call this? Uh, what do you call it? Feeling towards it. So it's like nah, it's too much. Oh, that's shitty, yo. Yeah. Because yeah. imagine you meet somebody at um, let's say like Anime North, or you know what I mean? Like, perfect. Or Fan Expo. Shout out Fan Expo. Yeah, yeah. Imagine you meet someone at Fan Expo and you get along with them at some booth and be yeah. like. Oh, you like that anime? Imagine this is the story. You're just you're just looking at shit. And you decide to pick something up, yeah. and the girl goes, "Oh, you like that anime?" <laughs> oh my god, yo! And then now you have to be like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I love this." Blah blah blah. And then later down the line, and she figures out the truth, uh-huh. and she goes, "What's the name of that character, though?" <laughs> <laughs> and then you couldn't give an answer. See, that's a ca- oh yo. My god. Oh my that's god, betrayal. that's betrayal. It is. It is. That's betrayal. Because what if? You're, Cause I think personally, I think the first meeting and the first impression yeah. dictates the whole like relationship. Personally, personally, okay, I don't how, know how you treated me as a stranger will dictate everything else. Personally, that's how I see it. I don't know about the first impressions because I did have first impressions of people and they, they and, change. And no, and like you know when you have that feeling where it's like I know you're not this really. Because you, maybe you might be with your That's friends. That's a good point. That's a yeah. great point. So. With, your, with, with your friends and you may be acting different. Yeah. So let me, you know what I mean? So it, it's not you. And you have that feeling. I had that feeling once. And it's like, yeah, I, I took uh, someone on another date. Boom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. I agree. You're right with that. Mm-hmm. But maybe what about on a level of um, it's your first one-to-one? Okay. Yeah. That may, that, that's important. I think that Super that important. first impression of the first one-to-one yeah. is, yo, if you if you you know, switch up there or do something bad there. Like, I don't know if I can look past it. Exactly. That's why people are so scared during the first, that, that's why they get all the nerves. Mm-hmm. Especially, oh my God, the first FaceTime. If you're FaceTiming anyone new, mm-hmm. oh my God, you got to lock in for that first for first FaceTime because you got you can't be awkward. You got to treat them right th- through the screen. I think I think that's a problem. It's like we, we put too much pressure <laughs> on it. But at the end of the day, it should be the opposite. Yeah. You, sh- you should, if anything, be the most off guard. Because if you're the most off guard, you're the most authentic. Exactly. And, and that's they'll how, love you for you. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm Right? I think um, if we if we continue life like because I was I was studying acting okay 
And what I noticed is when you're trying to force it, it doesn't come out right, but mm-hmm. you just being you naturally. And this is what I, I uh, seen and observed yeah. with people I was trying to get to act. Um, Ryan, for example, Kuda, shout out Kuda. Yeah. We were trying to get him to smile and, and give a realistic laugh, mm-hmm. but nothing over the top. And you know him, like he's gonna like, ah! Yeah, he's gonna you know, f- exaggerate it. It feels forced. And the, the time we, we were just like making fun of him though, and just like talking, uh-huh. That was the time where he gave us, I was watching the camera, that okay. was the time where he gave us, oh, yo, that right there, what yeah. you just did when we we're just talking to you and you give that little smile, that's the smile I'm looking for. Yeah. And that's the one that happens naturally. It's not the one that's like, oh, I got to be this right mm-hmm. now. So I think you actually hold yourself back. Mm-hmm. You hold yourself back from showing your true self and you might just fuck it up because maybe they're looking for that true but you don't show that side when you're trying to be this. Exactly. Like people, a lot of people uh, think that they could just hop on the podcast and act normal. But it's weird because uh, I was talking to Robin too. And he said, as soon as I hopped on the camera, it's it's still me, but it's mo- a more exaggerated version of me. Word. If you get what I'm saying? Because it's like you at the same time, you have to entertain. So you have to exaggerate stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like as soon as the cameras go on. Yeah. If there was uh, hidden cameras while I was acting. Yeah. Perfect, but obviously that's not how acting works. You have to act in front of a yeah. You have to act people, in front of camera. People like you have to get forget into it. a character with camera. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's interesting because I forget the cameras hundred percent. Like I don't, yeah. I don't see them no more. But it's still a thing of okay. I'm going. I'm preparing myself to go into this. Yeah. And if if it were different, I think there's no true. As as crazy as it is. Unless it's hidden, I don't think there is a true That's performance. Yeah. I don't know if there's a true performance. Yeah. That's why it's like, oh, if the group chat ever got leaked, <laughs> man's in chill. You know what I mean? That's yeah. that, Our group chat is our true selves. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's fucked, bro. Yeah. I think if we... um, Yo, what, imagine imagine we just put hidden cameras in all of our homies' rooms and yeah. just seeing them for who they are yeah. instead of who we think oh, they are. Oh, that's a different type of... Pro- Yo, we should... <laughs> that's, that's, crazy. A cr- that's a crazy experiment yeah. that's an insane experiment yeah. and even get a private investigator to just film okay, them. Now that's fucked. that's crazy <laughs> but yo but there was this guy uh uh who got caught on camera i don't mm. know he's been trending he's called the scratch and sniff guy what does he do okay so there was this big tiktoker right and she went into a, a barnes and nobles you know like the bookstore yeah and she usually vlogs her everyday things right mm. so she was vlogging and she was putting the camera down and like reading books right and she noticed as soon as she got in, there was this weird guy looking at her, mm-hmm. right? So she's like, okay, I'm going to just go into another aisle. But whenever she went into another aisle, followed. Whenever she would, like, go up he uh, would go straight a different to section, like, she would go t- upstairs to read, like, the, the graphic novels, yeah. he would go too, right? And it was crazy because she put the camera down and uh, the guy, uh, when she was reading the book, in the camera, this guy got caught, started, like, going down and I'll just show you the video. Peep this. Oh my god. Look what he does. You see? Fam, he goes behind her and sniffs. Hi. Oh, what Are the fuck? Her. Wait, her behind? Yeah. So look, I'll show you. Yeah. I'll show you. His, and he's still in the picture. Yeah. Goes to and sees another girl reading a and book. And goes to sniff? Look what he does. What the fuck? Yo, that's, that's weird. Creepy. So this guy, yo, he doesn't learn his lesson. He doubles back. Goes to the girl again recording. Yeah. Does tries it one more time. The girl's like, Whoa, what the fuck? What yeah. are you doing? He's like, I'm just tying my shoes. That's what? weird, bro. And fam, so uh the girl reports it, yeah, posts a TikTok online. A NBA player reposts it and says, This is the same guy that uh stalked my 14-year-old uh Damn. daughter. Damn. Fam. Yo, lock this guy up. No, he did. He got locked up because he had uh, essay allegations. Oh shit! And he was looking into people's houses. But you know what's crazy? Yeah. Fam, he got uh he got off of jail early because there was like some overcrowding, right? Mm-hmm. As soon as he go out, this guy's a max crash out. Like this guy uh got put back into jail because he could uh, he didn't register uh properly as a, a sex offender. <laughs> oh, shit. So he went back in. <laughs> he got back in. Yeah. So that. he went he went out. Did his whole shit again, went back in, got released again, yeah. went back in. Damn. Bam. So he's in right now. Yeah, he's in right now. Bro. If Scra- I, scratch and sniff. If I seen him in the wild, man, I'd get like, you know, the fart spray? Oh, and yeah. And just yeah. wait for it. Just wait for it. 
<laughs> just pretend I'm like not paying attention, just look at shit, and then spray it behind me. You know, you know, I was fucked because it's like I was always wondering because that that fart spray they always do pranks in the elevator. Yeah, but it's like no one does it and records a prank in the club. Because would everyone? I don't think anyone would smell it. Nah, they would because it's like wouldn't would would people evacuate? Like that's kind of fucked. Because I feel like that is illegal at the same time. Because if that is if, illegal, if you're if you're messing with thing, like they would kick you out. Yeah. But technically, you can put on cologne. That's true. What if that's your cologne? But but what would people do? Like, because they know it, they smell it, so they would be like, like, well, who? I, yo, my my thing is, I I don't think anyone would notice. Really? No, I feel like someone would notice. The reason I like people would smell it, but they just, you know, just really? throw it away. They they won't even think about it. The I reason I say that is because everything else is so stimulating. I the music, the lights, the yeah. people, right? Like, you're not really sure you pay attention one time. Okay, yeah. think about it like this. Mm -hmm. um, name a t-shirt that you saw in the club that you remembered. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? Next time you go there, like, if think about it. Yeah. I'm, I might have saw a t-shirt I liked, but do I remember it? Mm -hmm. Hell no. Yeah. So I think it's like that. Because it's so <laughs> stimulating, you don't yeah. remember shit. Yeah. There's that one guy that notices and he goes to the oh, the club smells like shit. <laughs> and I think that I think that's why um when people black out, especially at the club, they don't remember anything. Why? It's because it's hard to remember stuff in there. Oh no, I feel no, I think that's like if you drink too much, you lose part of your thing. That so. that too. Yeah. But I think also because it's hard to remember stuff there. Mm. There's so many um breaks in focus yeah you could be focused on one thing but it moves that's true you know too many things happening. there's too many things happening yeah, yeah. so i don't think it would work mm -hmm. speaking of cologne though yeah. you know there's a cologne i look he wanted to get this back in the day which but one, i didn't do one? it it's fucking dark game okay but there's a cologne that uses pheromones that attract women oh, okay or or men if you want okay i thought you were saying the pheromone the perfume that used the dead people but no, no, this is a different one. And it's 100% guaranteed. So it will scientifically attract women to like you. Yo, don't gatekeep them. Yo, put it on. Put I, found on. The, I found the link like a bare time ago. Yeah. But I just, I, I was looking at it like, yo, do I really want to do this right now? Because it's dark. That's dark game. Is it, is it popular or no? Like if you no, know, you know. You have to, you have to find this shit. Fuck. And I'm pretty sure... It, I don't know if it's illegal, but I know perfume places, they're not allowed to use it specifically. Yeah. But this is, I don't think this is sold as a perfume. It's sold as something else. Right. So that's why I can get away with it. Yeah. But you have to buy it online. You can't buy it like anywhere. That's true. That's true. It's dark. It's dark. <laughs> There's this uh, on the opposite of that. There's this guy on TikTok that's selling his own perfumes. I think he's like the non fragrance guy. Yeah. And like he takes like say Versace arrows, mm. right? And then he'll he'll list out all the ingredients for Versace arrows and he'll actually make it with real life ingredients. Oh, that's sick. No, no, but it's shit though. Like he'll, he'll be like, oh, put olive oil and then uh spray, put a little orange in it, and then he'll spray it like Ew. And everyone's like, that's not Versace arrows, it's Versace errors. <laughs> But he sells that shit. Do, do people buy it though? I don't know. I, I don't think he's making too much money because, like, even in his videos, he's clowning. Yeah, he's clowning his own okay, shit. Okay, I see. I see. Yeah. I see. I know. <laughs> yo, if you if you take it in, I remember there was like a, a Chinese market. Yeah, I was in there one time, and I seen these uh, capsules. Which capsules? There's these like capsules, and I had the roller thing on it. Yeah, I was looking at it closely. One said Ralph Lauren. One said Versace. I'm like, holy shit! Wait, this is cologne. Yeah. Yo. They're bootlegging the colognes. No. Yeah. Every single cologne. And I remember my uncle bought one one time and he just wanted to test it if it smelled like the exact same. It smelled the exact same. Really? Mm -hmm. No, because I, I remember I got like mad uh, bootleg perfumes. I think it was from New York. Mm, but really? I, yeah. But I think it's like they don't, the they don't last per, as long. I no, think. the thing about perfumes is like if they try to copy, it wouldn't smell the same. You think so? Yeah. I think it would smell the same. As the, oh, I don't know. Because it's like clothes you can easily do because it's just printing, right? But with perfumes, it's like different, uh, like, m things that you have to mix to get that same thing. I think thing. they just use the same recipe, bro. People have... Yeah, they have the recipes, like, bro. Really? I think so. I think so. Because yeah. my uncle did it. We tested it like, oh, yo, it smells the exact same shit. Really? Yeah, so I think what they do, the people in the factories, for me... They just steal the recipe. Oh, yeah. That's been doing it. That's and then they it. just reverse engineer it. They yeah. definitely have labs to just, yo, okay, let's let's follow this and then yeah. do this. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's out there. Yeah. 
they can literally just put it into a testing like machine and then just find out the ingredients, right? Yeah, that is true. You're the first one that told me when uh, when it came to clothes that some of the bootlegs going around are from the same factory. I didn't know that. Yeah, they are. I remember when Supreme was going around and like, oh, like if I buy this fake, it would it be real? He, you're like, no, nah, you never know because they might come out of the same factory. Yeah, it it doesn't really matter, especially the ones that are f- like that. Yeah, the ones that are fake, fake, those are just fake. That's true. <laughs> but the the factory ones, yeah, yo, like they just backdoor Spot that on. shit. Yeah, that's they true. just backdoor that shit. Exactly. They they literally just take the leftover materials yeah. and make it next door, literally Easy. next door, and yeah. they just have a. You know what I'm saying? I wonder how much money those those guys are making because they can make bare profit selling for that low. They probably. Theoretically, yeah. do you think they sell more than Foot Locker today? Yes, I think they yes. do. Yes, there's more Panda Buy sneakers going around than actual things than retail sneakers. I think so. You know what I mean, that's crazy though. Yeah, and as the generations are getting to that level of intelligence, where oh, I can just buy it online now. Yeah, I think, yo, do you think everything's about to be just, just yeah. fake now? Because I feel like. A lot of the retail stores selling spider, they're selling fakes for lower. Because cause if you really bag it, you can't you can't really tell if it is factory. And if if anything happens, you can't really sue. You know what I mean? You can't sue a retail store for selling fakes. That's that's what they marked it as. Yeah. You know what I mean? So retail stores nowadays, you can really just sell fakes. Yo, and just get away crazy. with it. Easy. Yeah. That's the, crazy. The, the counterfeit market when when we were in the game was like Oh, yeah, you would know. Like, you would get paid. Okay, where do we head from here, though? Like, if we're trying to predict the future, we know this is what, what's happening, mm. and it's going to continue to happen. Yeah. Where are we headed? Like, I, in, think, I think where we're headed yeah. is into well, nobody's going to start buying brand brand names anymore. Mm. They're going to start buying the shit you don't even know. Yeah, that's because, good, though. Because you can't, find a, you can't find a fake of something you never heard of. That's, that's true. That you is get true. me? Because yeah. now, if you wear Chrome Hearts... Like, oh, that's Panda Buy. Yeah. Fuck it then. I'm not wearing Chrome Hearts. Yeah. I'm going to buy some shit that you don't even know about. Yeah. That's why I think thrifting will always be alive because it is the one-on-one shit that you find. Yeah. Yeah. You can't say, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Oh, that's fake thrift. What? Vintage is forever, bro. Yeah. Vintage is forever. D- vintage is forever because it just keeps recycling. That's what I'm saying. It's the best. It's the best. Um, What do you call it? Ergonomic wise. Mm-hmm. It's the best spiritual wise. Low key. Yeah. The only thing that's weird about it is I just I just wish there was a you know in in the library when you yeah. get the the book the book receipt and oh, you yeah. see all the people that that had the book I just wish clothes came with that just so I can see who had it Man, I'm gonna have to start incorporating that stuff. yo that'd be so dope if you could see who wore it years ago mm-hmm. and how many people wore it how that's many times it's been passed through. I th- I just think it's cool. Not that it's gross. I would uh-huh. actually want to like enjoy the history of it. That's you know, true. maybe maybe like luxury brands could do that because they have the money to maybe give you that paper of thing. Oh, here it is. Because remember we got. Uh, oh no, I don't want to talk about that. But it was like <laughs> it was like a scam. Yeah. But uh, the if you give me a certificate with my name on it and all the history of it, yo, I feel way more better. It's like a customer experience. Mm. You know what I mean? Like a certificate. Yeah. That's cool, yo. Mm-hmm. I hope they I hope they get that experience somehow again. Yeah. Cause I remember going through the the li- the school library, picking up freaking, let's say a comic, and I look at the, the card and like, oh, yeah. who read this? And I go find them at recess, like, yo, yo, you read this too? Yeah. And we talk about it and shit. What is that experience for kids now? Damn, I guess still that, but yeah. but like it's not as common, maybe. Or what is that experience for us now, like as in our age. Oh, you can't like experience that, that. that type of joy? Yeah. Fuck. I guess I guess it's just you have to talk. You have to get so deep with someone for them to tell you stuff they it would be a secret. Yeah, like I didn't know that he had anxiety, but he told me. Yeah, you know <laughs> what I mean? That's dark, that might that's be what so it is. Bad. That's so bad. Yeah, it's bad still, but <laughs> that's that's what it is now. Yeah. Because nobody has like a... There's no receipt no more. We're, we're very locked off. Like, and we, we always say like, Oh, you can't get in my circle. Well, why why not? Oh, I have a question for you now. Yeah. Oh, I have a question. Okay. If people had that bookmark thing in the in the public libraries with the receipt of every person that they've, you know, uh-huh. dealt with, been in contact with, whatever, if they had it and you could read it in a specific way, like, oh, this is the person they dated, this is the person oh. they they were friends with, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Would society be better? Or worse, it would probably. Nah, that's bad. It would probably be worse because because we 
because it's, there's a certain line of knowing too much and knowing too little. I think society would be better. No, no, yes. No, no. Get me, yo. Check this out, though. I don't know. I, it wouldn't feel natural. Like, at the same time, it wouldn't feel natural. But, but if you bag it like this, like, now mm-hmm. you won't just go around and and start making mistakes that you would don't care about because you think, oh, nobody's going to find out. Mm, no, but... Get me? No, no, no. Okay. But at the same time, say say I read that this person has, like, something. Okay. Right? Yeah. And I take advantage of that person. Because oh, with I the know. connections of people? Yeah, no, because, no, like, remember you said your seats with, like, everything on it? Not so, everything, not ingredients. Okay. I'm not saying, like... But, like, they're about... I'm just saying shit people... The- no, people they've been in contact with, people they dated. Shit like that. Okay, maybe, yeah, maybe it would be better. I think life would be better, low-key, because then there's no excuse. Like, if you mm. decided to do shit bad, then mm. you did that, you know, and, and you have to own up to it. It should be like that anyway. That's true. To be honest. Yeah. Like, own up to what you did. You know what I mean? You can learn from it. Yes, you're allowed to be um, forgiven. You're supposed to forgive people mm-hmm. regardless. But it's it sucks more when you pretend that shit never happened. Nah. That That's what irks me. That's true. It irks me when you try to deceive people. Mm-hmm. That's the worst in my opinion. Yeah. No, there was... Yo, fam, I have to tell you the story about this uh, streamer mm-hmm. who, who did, like, his girlfriend so terrible, mm-hmm. right? And the thing is... um. It's not about what happened on the stream. Yeah. It's the th- it's the fact that he hid everything with a stream. So really bag this. So the stream was going on? Yeah, so look. So I think I don't know if you pro- you probably never heard him, but he was his name was like something vote for Saxton, right? Mm-hmm. And his main thing was going on and reviewing toys and like the off chance yeah. he would like play like games on his, his stream, right? So on I think it was December 18th near Christmas or on Christmas, he named it the night of Christmas violence. What the right? fuck? And already that title is mad sauce, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said at the beginning of the stream, he, he was like talking to his camera, yo guys, chat, due to technical difficulties, I might not be able to chat with you guys. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's another very strange thing. And the chat noticed that whenever he uh, was streaming, he would implement the word Natalie weirdly into his conversations. That wasn't the even... The name, just a name. Random, right? So everyone's like, okay, uh, let's just watch him during the stream. When people were typing, he wasn't responding. He was re- uh, talking about different things. Yeah. Right? The whole stream didn't know that while the stream was going on, he was actually murdering his girlfriend. Because, that way he wasn't showing it. Yeah, he wasn't showing it. Because he thought he was smart. And if I'm streaming... <gasps> oh, the po- that's crazy. The police, the police would never that's, know. That's your that, alibi. Yes. That's because... Mud. Oh, look, police. I was here at this time. It's live. It was it was a pre-recording. That's it was crazy. A the only reason why he was um he got caught is because in the stream he would give clues of what he was gonna do because he was so mad. He was like He was oh. thinking about that shit. He's like, it he's was like, too on his he's head. Like, I'm a go-getter. Shit like that. Damn. He's like, I fucking hate Natalie. <laughs> That's crazy. That's that's 3D chess. Though. It is, but his his maniac side got the best of him because he was kind of going crazy during his pre-recorded stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. but if you he can't hide it. Yeah, but if he kept it uh, sane, oh yeah, he would probably get away with that. Damn, that was mod. Yo, theory. Do you think there's a celebrity out there, an actor specifically, yeah. that's actually weird as shit? That is Loki, a serial killer, but we would never find out because mm. they're that good of an actor. No, oh, that's crazy. Oh, man. That's has, like, there, has there ever been a, a thing of that? I don't think there's ever been a case like that, really. Yeah, because they're just too good. Because what if they're too good? What if they're too good, bro? And they have the money and the, the things to protect it from it. Yeah. Yo, that's crazy. Oh, there's this thing going around in the media. You know how um, big celebrities, like, they they make they make song titles based on, like, uh, th- uh, maybe, like, their boyfriend uh, to take away from all the news about their boyfriend. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's like Ariana would make something about my ex-boyfriend. There would be no more news. Everybody would want to uh, look at her song rather than all the news about the her other. drama with her boyfriend. Oh, yeah, That's smart, actually. That's why That's why there's uh, the Taylor Swift thing. The only reason why she had uh, Travis Kelsey was because I think her old boyfriend was named like Jet. Mm. And a team in the NFL is the New York Jets. Oh, so shit. imagine all the football stuff the is Google now Google search, bro, is now related to Taylor and Travis Kelsey in the NFL. The keywords no longer to Jet. That's smart. Super That's smart, super fam. smart. Yeah, 
Yo, yeah. that's crazy. That's why, like, the Disney and Frozen. That was the main example. Disney Frozen. Pff, just make a movie about Frozen. We'll never. Yeah, think yeah, about yeah. That. You know what I mean? Y'all don't watch No Jumper anymore. Y'all <laughs> watch Jumper. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked. Nah, respect, though. Yeah, respect. Yeah, respect. Yeah, respect. Yeah, that's where it comes from. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that, that's where it comes from. But that's, that's, where not... the, that's where the OGs, like, yeah. started. Exactly. You know what I mean? Honestly, if there was no. Who do you think is your number one if they didn't exist? I probably wouldn't be like oh, this. Oh, Who's your number one? That's a great question. It's fucked to say, but uh, you already know. But Ian Connor, but none of the the allegation side, just straight art side. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be thing. Who I am, because at the same time, I would. I've always wanted to live his, uh, like life. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, just big, big, uh, like big influencer kids notice me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, besides Jesus. Oh, fuck. and I don't want to put it in the same breath. <laughs> okay, we can, yo, I have to restart, yo. <laughs> and then, uh, bro, you literally said Jesus, I said fucking Ian Connor, bro. <laughs> no, no, but like, it's true though. Like, like it's my honest answer, fam. No, but like, okay. But, <laughs> but obviously, I don't want to put it in the same breath. Yeah, but yeah. as a celebrity, so yeah, a celebrity. A celebrity that, that kind of carved me, uh-huh. Gary V. Oh, yeah. I remember time. you had big your time, yo. I remember you had your Gary V thing. But Big time, yeah, I wouldn't be. True. I probably wouldn't be like such a. Goal Isn't that why you like you dropped hustler. out of school? Yeah, I yeah, wouldn't be like a hustler like that if it wasn't for Gary V. True, that is true. But even before that, who was? This guy said Jesus. I was like, "Fuck, I messed up. <laughs> 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 Fuck, we gotta go again." <laughs> Yo, I did the Epson. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> For those that didn't get the joke, <laughs> our friend Emson was emceeing at the Spider-Man thing. Bro, funniest. Yo, Emson, I love you, fam. But as soon as you messed up the beginning and you're like, wait, hold on. <laughs> you broke the fourth barrier. Like, my, my body was like this. Relax. You did a good job. You did a great job. You did, did a great job. job. I did love Emson. job, fam. <laughs> Fuck, we gotta go. <laughs> no, but, no, but honestly, yeah. besides that, I think just Gary V. Um, but... If you think about it, like childhood, childhood, mm-hmm. when we're the most susceptible, and this is this is like crazy to say, uh-huh. but literally Spider Man, mm. actually, like no joke, yeah. no no word of lie, no bias, actually Spider Man. That's tough. Mm. Yeah. But I, who do you think's your um fictional? Okay, fictional. Mm. You said SpongeBob way back. I remember SpongeBob, that SpongeBob. But also, I was I was a big uh, Timmy Turner guy. Really, Timmy yeah. Turner? Yeah, that's interesting. I don't know why, but it's like maybe I I wanted to become like. I, I wanted to have fairly godparents, to be honest. I wanted everything I wanted to to be granted to me. Word. Yeah. Yeah, that's maybe that that's why I be, that's maybe that's why I became a spoiled kid. Because fucking Timmy, just, Timmy Turner was spoiled. Timmy Turner was spoiled, man. <laughs> I want No, really, really, I want every I think every kid wanted to live his life. I actually didn't. I didn't like really? I didn't like Fairly Godparents as much. I like I like the show, yeah. Yeah. But character wise, I messed with um Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy, nah, I, I didn't want to fucking be Jimmy. Yeah, Neutron. I wanted to be that smart, but <laughs> yeah. I wasn't that smart. Yeah, 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 I could, I could, like you know, street smart it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the same. It's not. It's definitely not the same. <laughs> but Jimmy Neutron was probably mine for that kind of genre. Yeah, and Caillou. Mm. But it was weird because Caillou's Caillou's whiny as shit. But I'm not like that. Okay, I think it's more just of um. He had playtime, I guess. But I feel like Caillou did have an impact on everybody's childhood, though. Yeah. Yeah. Or or two P and Binu two P and Binu two were as very underrated and isn't looked at upon like that. Like they had a movie, no one knew that their movie came out. True. Yeah. Yeah. No. No one remembers two. But two P and Binu were probably the most fam. Was it? Yeah. It was Binu, right? The one that doesn't talk. Mm-hmm. He was. He said the most without saying nothing. He was the most happy, creative without saying nothing. Come on, bro. I want to live like. Binu. Yo. Okay. Theory right now. Yeah. Who do you think is the cartoon? Um. What do you call it? Most popular followed. Most popular. And, SpongeBob. And everyone got influenced by the most. SpongeBob. You think SpongeBob? Hundred. I don't think there there is an- another one. I'm saying I'm saying archetype wise though. Like they turned out like that person. Whoa. What do you think is one of the most popular? Like they turned out like them. Yeah, I think. This I- this is a crazy take, but I want to say Zach and Cody. I think a oh, lot oh, of us, dude. a lot of us, turned out like either Zach or Cody. I thought I thought you were talking a cartoon only. Oh yeah, that's cartoon. My bad. Fuck yeah. it. Let's go cartoon. Okay. Ah, uh, if we're talking real, I, yo, you know what? I don't think it's cartoon. I think it's actually um, live action. Okay. Because because girls for girls it would be a uh, cat bear. People wanted to be like her from from Victorious. No, from oh yeah, Victorious. Yeah, Victorious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Really? Yeah. Everyone wanted to be like their girls. Yo, they started speaking like her. They started. They started acting like airheaded like her. Really? I swear, bro. Okay. Damn. I swear. No, but Zach and Cody is true though, because it was the perfect two. It was the, the nerdy yeah, kid or the cool. Turned out like that, or you turned yeah. out like that. Yeah. And there was a lot. Yeah. But before that. Mm. I don't know still. Now we're deep, now we're digging deep. Yeah. Okay, what's a what's the first cartoon you ever watched? First cartoon. I think Little Bear was my first that I could recall. Bernstein Bear is probably my first. Or or no. Yeah, yeah, it was Bernstein. Something old, bro. I think Little Bear is older. You remember Little Bear? No, I don't even remember Little Bear. Huh? Okay, there's gotta be something even. Do you remember the meat? Uh fuck. The guy, the two puppets when uh, Nickelodeon was yeah in I know you're talking about puppet Mr. era Meaty. yeah Miss oh my yeah, that's god crazy. Mr. a lot of people don't know about that but Mr Meaty when the the goth that's girl night, ep- nightmare fuel fam the what the goth girl episode when uh oh no no not, when the girl came out of the meat thing and yeah. she had a wig on fam that scarred me for life bro <laughs> like I was like yo what the fuck is this like <laughs> okay leave down in the comments yeah. who you think we oh yo. What? Danny Phantom's up there, low key. Oh yeah, Danny, Danny <laughs> Phantom's up there. I right, leave down in the comments who you think me or Gavin ended up becoming like cartoon wise. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> who do you think we ended up becoming like cartoon wise? Yeah, like, yeah. there's a lot of characters, especially you gotta you gotta look back at early two thousands. Shit, there's like superhero ones. There's yeah. like just comedy ones. Jake Long, feel yeah. me? There's a lot. So leave down in the comments. Do you think we turned out like? Mm-hmm. Uh, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Go down to Apple, Spotify, and download those episodes. Give us five star rating. We love you guys, man. And jumpers jump out. Deuces.